Today, we are going to take a stroll down Amsterdam Avenue. Now, Amsterdam Avenue, as you can tell, is very tree-lined, very much more quiet than the city. And it is really a loop around Parque Mexico, which is uh, the park that we saw the other day. And um, this is really uh, the, roast, the racetrack. Uh, Parque Mexico was the inner part of the racetrack, and this is the actual racetrack. So back in the 20s, the racetrack was sold, and the park was made on the infield, and this is the actual horse track that now is a beautiful, beautiful um, uh, walk and street. And we're just going to explore some of the some of the houses. There's some very, very unique 20s uh, modern and Art Deco houses that um, are along here. And so we're just going to take a look at them. You can see that um, it's beautiful. And there's some really uh, very, very pretty houses along here, which we will take a look at soon. There's one in a very traditional style, uh, colonial style. There's a very modern one. Um, Mexicans love their color, so even in a very modern white environment, they put a little color. The remnants of the Art Deco, there are lots of Art Deco houses, more traditional Spanish style. Of course, there's always a place to get tacos along the way and flowers to take home. Very pink right next to it is a very old colonial They are not shy to have color in their life. Here's the famous chocolate place that um, I read about. Um, a very famous uh, sous chef from uh, New York City. He worked at Las Lesser and then at Four Seasons. Um, and this, he actually has won the Master Chocolatier Award two years. Um, and so he's very well known, and this is a very, um, very little small shop that he runs. And so some of the finest chocolate in the world can be found right here. What you don't remember is Mexico invented chocolate, so um, very appropriate for the chocolate. So along the path, we will come to circles um, all along this uh, path. And so this is just one of them. Um, I think they're all named uh, for different cities in uh, Mexico. There's some very cool looking restaurants along the way. And this is a popular one that was uh, referred to me by a local. And so I just thought I'd show it to you. So there are wonderful places to eat along the way too. A cute little French style cafe. There's one of the original signs from uh, Avenida Amsterdam, and it's in Art Deco style. I've seen a couple of them, but I finally just found one of the old house. The Deco style. It's a bunch of these original Art Deco seating and lights, uh, kind of at each intersection, but I thought I would just show you one. I'm not gonna take you on the whole three and a half mile uh, circle, oval, but I did want to talk just a little bit about um, gringos and expats who are coming to Mexico. Um, and it is um, a perceived problem because gringos, Americans, Canadians come to this country, Mexico City, and lots of other cities here, and they can pay more for housing and everything else and so um, the prices get raised and it means that the locals can't afford to live in certain areas so I understand the problem. Um, I have not experienced any hostility myself but um, I can understand where it would come from. There's another one of the famous places to eat along the, the Amsterdam Avenue. The other thing that I have noticed is that 
life is a little slower here. And so for those of us who are used to chop, 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 go, 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 um, it's a little bit of an adjustment. Um, and it's a good adjustment, but I do find myself getting impatient with people when I should because there's no reason. That's all tile. Kind of well, that's it for the day. Uh, we didn't walk around the whole thing. And now that we're back out of Amsterdam Avenue, it's busy and noisy. And so anyway, so uh, that was fun. Fun to see all those Art Deco houses and, um, and that beautiful walk. See you tomorrow.